Hi, what's going on guys? My name is Enzo and today we're going to learn how to verify your smart contracts on Etherscan. As you probably know, once you have deployed your smart contract to any testnet or mainnet, you will be able to see it on explorers such as Etherscan for the Ethereum blockchain. Explorers, among other things, allow you to have full details of a given contract. Who deployed it, at which transaction, which token it tracks, a history of transaction and events, a lot of things. However, by default, the internals of the contract are hidden. You cannot see its interface or the source code, just the bytecodes that were uploaded to the chain. If we look at this other contract, you can notice this little green check next to the contract word. This means it has been verified by its deployer. When you verify a smart contract, it not only allows everybody to see its source code, but they will also be able to interact with it directly from the explorer. Why would you want to verify your smart contracts? Blockchain and decentralization, it's all about trust. If you make the source code available to everybody, they will be able to check if the code behind a smart contract is the one that they expect and if it does what they want to do. Also, they will be able to build on top of it more easily and help you discover security issues. In this video, we are going to learn how to verify smart contracts using Hardhat, a framework for developing Ethereum software. If you don't know what Hardhat is or how to install it on your machine, check this video that explains everything you need to know about it. Let's dive in. We are starting from the most basic Hardhat template bootstrap and we will install a package called Hardhat Etherscan that will do the heavy lifting for us. So let's install it. We are going to run yarn add dash dash dev and the name of the package. Once the dependency has been added, we are going to go to the hat hat config file and add a new key for the etherscan value with an API key attribute and a string that would contain our etherscan API key. Next, we are going to create the etherscan API key we need to provide to the package. We are going to go to etherscan.io and you need to sign up for an account. And once you have done that, you can access your API keys. Click add, give it some label, code with Enzo, create the new API key. And once you have it, you can copy it and paste it here on the hat hat config file. Last but not the least, we need to import the package here at the top. And that's everything you need to do in order to set up this package. Now we are going to deploy the hat hat example smart contract and verify it on Etherscan. We are going to run the sample script bootstrap by hat hat to deploy the greater smart contract to the Ethereum testnet. For that, we are going to run npx hat hat run, followed by the path of the sample script, minus minus the network that we want to target. Once finished, you can see that the smart contract has been deployed to this address. We are going to go to rinkeby.etherscan.io and paste it in the search bar to see the smart contract that we have just deployed. You can see there is no green check mark next to the contract word, and if we go to the tab, we will only see the bytecode as we saw earlier. Now we are going to verify the smart contract that we have just deployed. For that, we are going to run npx hat hat verify minus minus network rinkeby in our case. Then we are going to paste the address that we got from deploying the smart contract just earlier. And then we need to pass as many arguments as we have passed to the smart contract constructor whenever we deployed it. In this case, we only pass this string here, so we are going to add it with single quotes. And that's it. If we come back to the Etherscan page that we had before, and we now refresh on the contract page, we'll see that we have the green chip mark available that we can see the source code of the smart contract. And that's everything I have for you today. Link in the comment the verified smart contract that you are the most proud of. And as always, let me know if you have any questions. Make sure that you are subscribed with notifications on and please like the video. Until the next one, keep coding, keep smiling.